Here you are, all fabulous in pink. Thank I think you. we're going to be seeing a lot of this color this month, but this is personal for you. Tell me why. Well, I've been part of October Breast Cancer Awareness Month now for, I think this is my 24th year. And I got involved because Evelyn Lauder, who was Estee Lauder's daughter-in-law, when I first started working for the company as their face back in the 90s, she said, um, I've just started a new campaign and I'd love you to help me. And I said, of course, I'd love to, what is it? And she said, I want to raise funds and awareness for breast cancer. And I went, okay. And she said to me, she said, women all over the world are dying of breast cancer. No one is talking about it. And this is way I before the ribbon, that. way before pink flood, it, you know, flooded it, the streets in October. It absolutely was, because she co-invented the pink ribbon in 1992. And prior to that, there wasn't a pink ribbon. So when I was growing up, when I was a teen, there wasn't a breast cancer awareness month. There wasn't a pink ribbon. Nobody spoke about it. And when she told me that, it really hit a note because I just lost my grandmother to breast cancer. Oh wow! And she hadn't spoken about it. Of course, there was no pink ribbon. There was nothing. No breast cancer awareness you month. You didn't know about it no until someone was affected by it that you knew. But even then, we didn't know anything. Because mm -hmm. number one, we didn't know anything about it. I'm afraid in those days, people would still say, "Oh, she's got breast cancer." It was just not spoken about mm -hmm. and so as soon as Evelyn said those words I knew I wouldn't be part of this campaign because that hopefully that and I don't think it does really happen now you know we shout about breast cancer we all wear pink ribbons to still say to people breast cancer everyone pink ribbons breast cancer get a mammogram check your own breasts try and raise some money because our real focus as well as raising awareness has been to raise funds so with the Estee Lauder company's breast cancer campaign We've raised more than $79 million. Wow, that's a big number. <laughs> it's a huge number. And $65 million of that has gone straight into research, which was Evelyn's passion. And, you know, they've made great strides, great strides in diagnosis, great strides in treatment. Yet still, every 15 seconds, a woman around the world is diagnosed with breast cancer. The fight's not over. The fight is so much not over, and still one in eight women will be diagnosed in their lifetime. Having done this for so long, I'm sure you have countless stories and anecdotes about people who have touched you. Is there any specific story that really stands out in your mind today when you go around talking to people about this? I mean, there's so many. Evelyn and I used to do, earlier on in the campaign, we used to go to a lot of department stores and we'd sign Estee Lauder product, which we'd sell to benefit the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And we used to always know that if we saw a teenage boy or a young man in the line waiting to come and see us, we knew who was going to tell us that his mother had breast cancer, and they always did. Every time? And we'd be braced because they were boys, you know, they were sort of young boys. And, but they stood in line for an hour, an hour and a half to come up and have a lipstick sign for their mums or something. It was very charming. And we used to cry, of course, every time. So this year you guys have a campaign. Tell we have a it. well. We have a really a social good, media campaign. We yeah. do, and because so often people say, "What can I do to help? I want to help. I want to raise money," and people give what they can and they fundraise, and that's brilliant. But we come up with this thing now. I'm, I'm going to give you a demonstration. So we have this special thing going now for the month of October, where if anybody, male or female, takes a pink lipstick and draws a pink ribbon hmm. on their hand, that's a lovely shade. <laughs> If they take a photograph of themselves like this with their pink ribbon and if they use two hashtags, time to end breast cancer and ELC donates, we'll donate $25 for every post on Instagram that comes up, up to a quarter of a million dollars, which means by doing this post, you can help fund a research scientist. That's how much it costs a year to fund one of our research scientists. You've seen this from so early on, the, the very beginning stages of what is now a massive campaign. Where do you see this thing in you know 10 years? I don't know, I can't put a number on it of years, but I know there will be a time when people don't die of breast cancer. There's now a 90% survival rate of breast cancer is caught early. I mean, things have really, really improved. So, you know, we just hope that there will be a day where women don't die of breast cancer. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.